Let's have some fun today. I put together a Sherwin-Williams Southwestern color palette for you because one of my beautiful viewers requested it. So why not help them out with some color advice? I'm gonna call it my Joshua Tree palette. Is Joshua Tree, California part of the Southwest? I don't know, I'm from like Southeastern Canada, so. What do I know? But that's what a Southwest color palette is supposed to be evocative of. That beautiful part of the United States, like Arizona, New Mexico, and then parts of Texas, California, Nevada. Normally you'll find a lot of colors like bronze, copper, reds, a bit of blues, some yellows and golds, like a lot of beautiful saturated colors, which is kind of the thing to do, right? Color is so cool. I like it. So I got five paint colors by Sherwin-Williams creating this palette that you can use in your home if that's the sort of aesthetic you're going for. For, and I got something for everyone. We got some neutrals, some nearly neutrals, and then some beautiful accent colors that you can use in different parts of your home, whether it's on your walls, your furniture, oh. even your kitchen cabinets. Let's get into it. The first one I have here is called Restoration Ivory. And this is a 75 LRV paint color, very much a beige with a yellow undertone. And that will be a bit of a theme carrying on, that yellow warmth, that kind of gold undertone. This is going to be your base color. It's the color that you will use in spaces where maybe you don't want to bring the focus to your walls. That's more of a neutral, kind of your connect the dots color. It's also the lightest of the bunch. So it could be nice in places where maybe you don't get a ton of natural light. You want something that will help reflect the light back out and lighter colors do that. Moving on to the next color we have wheat grass, which is a deepening of Restoration Ivory. We're going from that ivory, beigey, creamy color to a much more tan, slightly ochre leaning green undertone gold beautifully rich it happens to be a mid-tone color with a 48 lrv this one it seems neutral but it definitely has that southwestern flavor because it's very dynamic rich and almost a touch chartreuse leaning but it's more ochre in my mind it has a little more of a gold feeling even though it has a green undertone it's not a yellowy green by any means so this is a great secondary color if you want something a little more saturated and deep also just an interesting mid-tone neutral choice the third color is a semi accent it's very different from the other two it's called reflecting pool and this color has a bit of a sky blue feeling to it it is a little more on the warmer side though it has a slight yellow undertone so not quite a greeny blue but definitely on that side of things rather than a true blue or even an indigo type of coloration so it will help pick up on the yellows in the other colors but very much a blue so you will have a beautiful fresh airy sort of feeling to it it is darker it has a 39 lrv so it's technically the darkest color so far but a great choice in those sectioned off areas of your home like bathrooms for sure even bedrooms could be a good choice but you can also use this in a living room if you want something that's very different and fresh and uplifting now for our fourth color you may have noticed we're getting darker and darker and darker and the trend continues with baked clay this is actually an expert pick sure when Williams color. Take what you will from that, but it also leans into that red undertone that is very prevalent in today's design. Red and point is the color of the year currently for Sherwin-Williams. Baked clay is cut from the same cloth. It has that red clay feeling, which there is a ton of in the Southwest. And I think this is a color that could traditionally be seen as an accent color because of how saturated and dynamic it is, but it's also earthy. It's also totally appropriate for that part of the United States. So it's a color that you can use as a secondary color, not just in an accent wall format, but you can have your dining room this color even a kitchen maybe if you wanted it is an interesting one to me because it has that dusty quality to it that does make it a little more versatile than just a straight up red or even a bright terracotta orange you got some versatility here you have some options here and finally the last color this is probably my favorite of the bunch. The darkest color as well. It is part of the Emerald Designer Edition collection. This is a color that is a deep navy, but it has a sort of shaded teal quality to it as well. It's called Tarragon. It has a seven LRV. It is really dark and moody and deep, kind of representing the night sky in my mind. It's not an off black by any means, but it's dark enough where it will have a similar effect, but it'll bring you that signature Southwestern color. There's a ton of saturation in here. And if you bring enough light into the space with it, you'll really see that coloration come through. Huge fan of this color. Let's put all these colors up together and see how they look. Beautiful. Southwest all the way, baby. Yeah, baby. Which color palette should I do next? A nature palette, maybe? A zen palette? A Toronto palette? <laughs> A Vancouver palette? Let me know.
And here's some more colors that can hopefully inspire you because that's really what I'm aiming to do here. 